I think it's very hard for you to not at least have heard about Steve Vai. Back in the day when I was just starting out, I didn't exactly like Steve Vai's music. I respected it, I thought it was cool and he played guitar cool, but just wasn't my thing. But even back in the day, without being a huge fan of Steve Vai, his playing style actually inspired my latest released song, Treasure Chest, which you can and should go check out anywhere you listen to your music at. When you think of Steve Vai, you might think of those Lydian passages, huge stretches and legatos. The Steve Vai influence that I was referring to. It's much more of those add nine riffs with those arpeggiated chords and chords with open strings and I remember just being in the key of A and trying to do like a major chord with a sharp 11 to get a little bit of that Lydian sound and immediately those Steve Vai vibes, that's funny, kicked in and I was like there might be something in here which was a little bit out of my comfort zone it's not really the sort of thing that I do too often but it sparked some new ideas and in some ways it sparked out a song that I probably wouldn't have made in any other way. Go check out my latest released song Treasure Chest and leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow and stay tuned for more because I'm releasing new songs every week and I'm releasing daily videos twice a day every single day. Many of the songs in this first volume of songs that I'm releasing are pretty old songs with even older riffs. My latest song, Treasure Chest, that you can and should go check out anywhere you listen to your music on. This riff right here. It only really got truly perfected alongside my friend Eduardo. This one time we were jamming, probably like nine or eight years ago. I've always been a fan of chromatic notes and see where that tension fits in or not. I showed him that riff and he was like, that riff is pretty cool, but maybe consider using these notes or those notes too. Both of us left that jam session with some new riffs, but only a couple of years later did that riff really find its home in my latest release song, Treasure Chest. Which, if it wasn't obvious already, you really should go check out. And while you're at it, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow, and stay tuned for more because I'm releasing new songs every week and I'm releasing new videos every day, twice a day. If you look at this song, my conscious influences were like Jimi Hendrix and Steve Vai. But then those songs don't really sound like Jimi Hendrix or Steve Vai, which is where our individual artistic personality kicks in and where things actually get very interesting. I actually played this fancy E13 sort of open chord. And like the rest of the song, a little bit out of my comfort zone, a little bit out of the sort of things that I usually do, especially at the time years ago when I made this song. In case it wasn't obvious already, go check out my latest release song, Treasure Chest, and leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow, and stay tuned for more, because I'm releasing new songs every week, and I'm releasing new videos every day, twice a day.
This isn't my guitar. This is actually my brother's guitar. As usual with Ivanaz names, this is an Ivanaz RGD IX6 MPV. The little sticker doesn't come stock, it was one of my brother's ideas. And it's a cool guitar, but it's not really the traditional type of guitars that I usually play. But while figuring out my latest song, Treasure Chest, which you can and should go check out anywhere you listen to your music at, my previous guitars, I couldn't really find anything that matched the vibe I was looking for. And I just took a break and went to hang out with my brother. And after a while, I looked at his guitar and just started jamming on it. In this one, in that particular case, it took around like five minutes to figure out some new riffs and not only were most of those riffs actually incorporated within the treasure chest song but i question if i would even play those riffs outside of playing this guitar maybe i would have figured out some different riffs better riffs or worse riffs who knows sometimes it's getting out of your comfort zone and playing with instruments and sounds that will help you figure out some new riffs new ideas new melodies go check out my latest released song treasure chest and leave a like comment subscribe follow and stay tuned for more because i'm releasing new songs every week and i'm releasing daily videos twice a day every single day root, third, fifth, after that is the seventh. It's a very common way to harmonize your chords, fancy them up a little bit, get them ready for jazz club. I was doing this riff where I was arpeggiating some chords while working on my song Treasure Chest, and along the major chords I was using the major seventh, with the minor chords I was using the minor seventh. Since that riff repeats a little bit, I thought, why not keep the same chords, but switch the minor sevenths to the major chords, and switch the major sevenths to the minor chords. In the key of C, the natural seventh would be B, the flat seventh that is more used around dominant chords or minor chords, we go to our regular seventh, B, and we flatten it getting a B flat. The difference between a major 7 and a minor 7 is just a semitone, but sometimes that semitone can really make a difference. Adds a little bit of extra curiosity to the major chord because you hear the dominant 7th and you're like, wait, where is this going to resolve to? But then we do that parallel minor chord after it with the major 7th. A little bit of extra tension gets built up in some ways and results in other ways. Again, in case it wasn't obvious, you really should go check out my latest release song, Treasure Chest. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow, and stay tuned for more because I'm releasing new songs every week and I'm releasing daily videos twice a day, every single day. Sometimes a new riff or a new part, when you build up on a pre-existing riff, can really make the difference. Like in the case of my latest released song, Treasure Chest, don't forget to go check out anywhere you listen to your music app. It has a couple of riffs that are very arpeggiated chord-like, and that's really the main vibe of the song. But at the end of the song, in the last chorus, we end the song with the same riff, but after going through the whole song, we're no longer in the same headspace anymore. We've been through a whole emotional journey, so while that riff is still going on, I thought to myself, why not accompany it with something? Because at the time I was listening a lot to Floods by Pantera, or in the solo and in the outro, you have a lot of those add nine chords. Why not do some of those add nine riffs? At the time, I didn't think much of it. I just did it as an experiment. After figuring something out, recording it, and listening back to it, I actually think it's the cooler section out of that part. It's not the main guitar track. It's just the accompaniment to that main melody slash riff. But it's probably one of my favorite parts in the song, if not my most favorite part. In case it wasn't obvious already, don't forget to go check out my latest released song, Treasure Chest, and leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow, and stay tuned for more because I'm releasing new songs every week and I'm releasing daily videos twice a day, every day. <laughs>
Well, thanks to everyone who checked out my song Treasure Chest. I've been doing videos every single day for the past week, just talking about that song, sharing some tips and tricks, some stories. If you haven't been here during this past week, just go check out the previously mentioned videos. I think they're quite a lot of fun. There's also playthrough clips, but I also have a compilation of all the videos released this week and like a treasure chest themed movie rather than watching every single day. And even a full playthrough slash music video on my YouTube channel, which you can also go check out. And it kind of goes without saying that if you haven't checked out the song, you should really go and do it. It's available anywhere you listen to your music on. And don't think we're done because I'm releasing new songs every week and I'm releasing daily videos twice about each song that I'm releasing. So starting tomorrow, we're getting a new song release, which you can already go pre-save or even listen to depending on what you're watching. I'd really like to have you along for the ride. So leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow and stay tuned for more.